Hi, this is Lynn Pridmore of Spirit Healing Wellness using the mind, body, and spirit as medicine. Today is Independence Day in the United States and we are experiencing a full moon lunar eclipse. And this is when the sun is in one sign, which happens to be Cancer, and the moon is six months across the zodiac wheel in Capricorn. And there are many different aspects that we could discuss about this. Uh, but basically what I wanna share in this short video is that Cancer is a water element and Capricorn is Earth. And they, we have been experiencing this eclipse um, positioning for the past two years and now it comes to an end. Too much water on the earth and things become muddy. Our thinking may be muddled, lack of clarity, right? We may have been stuck with the earth element of cancer, I'm sorry, of Capricorn, or we may have been very emotional with the water element of cancer. So now things are wrapping up. And over the past two years, I would venture to say that you have discovered more of what you want and what you don't want. You may not have taken action, but in your mind, you may be clearer or you will be coming into more clarity as the eclipse season ends. And it takes about six months for the eclipse period to fully be over. But with this alignment, this is the end of the Capricorn Cancer eclipse period. And then with the next eclipse, we move into Sagittarius Gemini, which is fire and air to ignite your dreams, to ignite your life, to allow your life to take off, which is what freedom is all about on this 4th of July, right? So I invite you on this day to go into the depths of your heart Right, bringing in Jin and Jitsu perspective, Capricorn is ruled by the umbilicus, which is like the, the, the umbilical cord, right? That's the creation of life. It's the womb, the eternal womb within our own selves, within the cosmos, the womb of all creation. Cancer is ruled by the spleen, and the spleen is all about energy. So we want to have the energy to create the life of our dreams. So I invite you today to meditate, to take a few moments to breathe deeply and go within and place yourself within your heart, right? It's a direct line between the mind, the heart, the umbilicus, and then creation, right? When we're working with the tree of life, it's the middle pillar, divine consciousness coming in here at the heart of sacrifice, the heart of unconditional love. Here at Yesod, where creation is that final step in the birth can, in the birth canal before we're manifested in Malkuth. So take a few moments on this very powerful day with the eclipse. <sighs> Go into your heart, align your heart and your mind and bring your deepest desires in to your birth canal. Right? Bring in all the elements, all the resources, all the people, the places, the opportunities, everything that is needed. Bring it all in and allow it to be birthed into this world, into our environment. Because that next eclipse period is going to bring the fire and the air to ignite the life of your dreams. <sighs> Thank you for joining me today. I hope you have a magnificent day. May you live from the freedom that is available within you. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.